Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Horizon Forbidden West. And in this one, I want to put together a quick video on where you can find an awesome God of War Easter egg in-game. One of the cool things about open world games, of course, is they tend to be packed full of Easter eggs. And of course, being Sony titles and the studios being friends, they tend to sort of have these things worked into each other's games. And in Horizon Forbidden West, there is a pretty cool God of War Easter egg that allows you to unlock a face paint. So if you guys want to know how to do that, then in this video, I'm going to go over all those details. Of course, if you don't, then by all means, step away and you can work it out yourself. But if you do want to know, then uh, we got you covered. If you guys find this helpful, a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have dived into the game, how you're enjoying Horizon. But let's not waste any time. First things first, in order to do this, you're going to need to go and find a selection of three different totems. The first one, if you go over to where you see the flag on the map right now, so over the sort of like left portion of the map, over there is where you want to head. And what basically happens is when you get to the area, there will be some sort of God of War related item that you need to scan. And this will then give you something you can track using your focus to lead you to the totem. So in this situation, of course, there is an axe in the tree, an iconic moment from God of War, which I love. That game is fantastic. Cannot wait for God of War Ragnarok this year. It's going to be awesome. But anyway, scan the axe, follow the footsteps, of course, and you can then climb up the cliff. Pretty self-explanatory. You can keep scanning to sort of find the purple or the pink. Now, well, the first time you go up here, there are some machines. So if you want to go and sort of clear them out, you can do. But having cleared them out, giving you a clear run, you'll then see that when you climb up to the top, there is also a wooden house looking remarkably like Kratos's house from uh, the God of War game. And then when you go there what you then want to do is go over to the left hand side where there's sort of this opening and then in the snow is a nice little wooden carved statue of none other than Kratos. You collect this and that is your first totem. A carved figure looks like some kind of war god. Moving on from there to the next location, we're going to be going over to the far west of the map over on this island. So of course it is something you need to do a little bit later once you have the ability to get over here. But when you go here, again, you then want to go to the location that you see on screen right now. What you're looking to interact with are a load of arrows that are basically impaled into the tree. Interact with these and again, similar fashion, they will then give you a track to follow. Follow this all the way and you will then find the next totem, which is Atreus. Some kind of carved figure. Huh. Looks like a boy. Finally, for the last one, we are over in the more sort of southeastern area of the map. Again, at the location that you see marked right now. You'll then walk over and see a slain machine, and you will see that there is a hammer impaled in the face, which is looking pretty brutal. Again, examine that, follow the track, and you'll go all the way over to this broken rock, and you'll see inside there, there are the brothers, the crafters, and if you then go and interact with these, assuming you have all three sets of totems, you will then, upon picking it up, unlock the Mark of War face paint. So you can then apply this, you can then put this on Aloy, and it actually looks super cool because it has been done as a face paint, so it actually looks quite uh, fitting for the game. Honestly, I think it's really, really cool. There are plenty of uh, face paints you can get in the game, but this one looks fantastic. And not forgetting that the game has an incredible photo mode, so if you want to get some nice up-close shots, you can see this is what it looks like. But there you have it, quick little guide on where to find the God of War Easter egg and unlock that awesome face paint. Hope you guys found this useful. If you're diving into Horizon Forbidden West for the first time and you want a few starter tips, be sure to check out this beginner's guide and be sure to keep it locked. We've got plenty more stuff coming your way.